Now this story leads. President Cyril Ramaphosa will today join families of slain police officers and reservists. This will take place at the annual South African Police Service Commemoration Day at the Union Buildings in Pretoria. Meanwhile, as the South African Police Service marks the commemoration, there's been mounting calls for the police minister, Peggy Kele, to step down. As the country gears up for the annual SAPS commemoration, SAPU is spitting fire. The union says police officers are working under difficult conditions and are struggling to keep up with criminals. SAPU says there's a very little political will to make things better. Uh, we're not mincing our weight. We are saying that the police minister should go. We do not believe that he is doing what is best for the South African police services. We just see him grandstanding in most cases. South Africa has a population of over 60 million people, but just 180,000 police officers to fight crime and about 80,000 boots on the ground. The immediate need to have the South African police services capacitated in terms of the human capital. It is a dire need that needs to be done uh, as in yesterday. When the latest crime stats were delivered, the murder rate sent shockwaves through the country. More than 6,000 people were murdered between April and June this year. Fela has called for police to be more hands-on. As a ministry, we maintain that policing is not at police stations, but policing is on the streets where crimes are likely to be prevented. Sapu says for this to happen, more police members are needed in the field. Only about 10,000 new recruits are absorbed annually. Sapu says the political failure to support police with the right resources threatens the lives of many officers. While crime is rampant and criminals get more brazen, police often pay the ultimate price. Fighting crime has also come at a cost for members of the South African, of the SEPs across the country. According to SAPU, specialized units may be the answer, especially to deal with illegal mining and the high murder rate in the country. And it says there is a need for a specialized gender-based violence unit. We need to see a, a, an establishment of a gender-based violence that will have coordination with social workers. Sapu has also blamed the minister for ill-equipped community police stations, but Gale says police cannot fight crime alone. We further encourage all province commissioners to continue to increase their efforts in crime prevention and crime combating operation. Most importantly, community policing partnership and expanding the eyes and ears of law enforcement on the ground must be intensified. SAPU has reiterated its confidence in the National Police Commissioner, General Sikhlaxe Masemula, but urged the commissioner to expedite plans for more boots on the ground. Patricia Fasahi, SBC News, in Pretoria.